what, what is your experience with Africa in, in terms of economics and um, how do people operate there? So in terms of images, I think mm -hmm. in economy and again generally in business, yeah. we, we live in a world of self-fulfilling prophecies. Mm -hmm. The NGOs, which I'm not a fan of, uh, usually will enforce the negative image but because that helps them raise money. Mm -hmm. So we as business people, we're trying to counterbalance it with telling the good story about Africa, like mm -hmm. you probably noticed in my TEDx talk, yes, yeah. to push the positive yeah. message. Because even if sometimes it's not as good everywhere as it's good in Lagos, maybe there are still villages where there's a lot of poor people and there's still places in Lagos where there's a lot of poor people, mm -hmm. you need to push that positive message across. Because once you push the positive message across, investors will come, money will come, mm -hmm. and the money will actually help turn this positive message into a wider, a wider reality. Yeah. Obviously, Africa is extremely uh, rich in terms of natural resources and GDP. The problem is, is how that money is distributed, how much of that money is stolen. Mm -hmm. And obviously, the inequalities are huge. Uh, like in, in Nigeria, you have 180 million people, but only 2 million people make more than $10,000 per year. Yeah. Uh, so you can imagine where is the, all the wealth accumulated. Mm -hmm. So the whole point is just to re redistribute it in a better way. Yeah. And you can do it either or both by actions of the government and obviously business growing middle class giving more places to work ex expanding purchasing power yeah. and so on it is also a proven fact